guys. So today's video is going to be about breaking past cycles and kind of removing the toxic energy from your life. So we have three piles here, pile one, two, and three. Take a moment to get in touch with your intuition and your higher self and pick the pile you feel most drawn to. I am also offering personal readings through my Skype link in the description box below so you can tap on that and go message me if you would like to receive a personal reading that is more in depth and more attuned to you and your situation <coughs> and we are going to get started with pile one so for pile one we have the panther so with the panther there may be like a tower moment or something going on in your life right now where everything, there has been something massive that has happened that has just caused chaos, shock, you know, things to fall apart, things like that. There's a lot of energy that has come in that has just dismantled things and has really caused like a wrench in your plans and things like that. You know, there could even be a person who has came in that has caused a lot of chaos or destruction or it may even be just like a sudden realization of how things are and how they should be that is going on here. We have the Two of Pentacles. <clears throat> Learning how to remain balanced throughout any kind of ups or down, downs learning that your balance within yourself is eternal. It's not something that can be taken away from you. It's not something that relies on the external world. It is something that you have within yourself. That balance, that peace, that longevity, that flexibility and adaptability, it's all within you. And your ability to be able to maneuver through situations that are chaotic or situations that are up in the air and your ability to be able to maintain yourself and be able to keep moving forward even through even through hard situations being able to be flexible adaptable to changing environments and situations around you and being able to maintain yourself you're really going through a massive transformation right now that is allowing you to find peace in the chaos yes oh and we were just talking about the tower card so once again, you know, everything may be feeling like it's all just falling apart right now. Or maybe there's been a lot of this in your life. Maybe there's been a cycle of everything falling apart, you know. And the whole thing is building something from a solid, stable foundation will give it the strength it needs to maintain through hard times. And you have that solid, stable foundation inside of yourself. When a forest is burnt down, a lot of the trees actually still continue growing. This tree right here, the way that it's being hit, it would continue growing because the whole bottom half of it is still here, as long as this part doesn't catch on fire anyway. But this is the solid, stable foundation that this tree was grown from. And some of it may have been picked off the top here, and some of it may have been hurt or damaged, but... The rest of it is still there. You know, you are still here. Even with everything that has happened, you are still here. And you are still capable of moving forward. And, you know, there's a lot of really good things about when a forest catches on fire. Because it burns away all the old, all the damaged. It takes away all the things that are hindering the growth for the strong parts, you know. And you have a lot of strength within you. A lot of strength to grow. And through adversity, we learn how to grow. We learn how to find balance. We learn how to be okay, even in the darkest of times. Yes, and learning how to have hope, faith, trust, and learning how to see the light, even in the darkest of times. Learning how to focus on the good parts and the good things that are going on in your life right now. Even if there's a lot of negative and horrible things going on right now, there is always something that you can find that is good about what you're going through. And there's always something you can find to focus on that'll give you hope and faith and trust and belief. Something that'll keep you from falling into the darkness completely and allowing it to consume yourself. And, you know, you may have a habit of overthinking things or overanalyzing things or 
causing a lot of chaos in your life through this overthinking, you know, and it could even be somebody else in your life is overthinking a lot and causing a lot of chaos and destruction. They may even be manipulating or twisting things to make things appear different than how they are. And it could even be being able to find balance with a specific person in your life who has caused a lot of chaos, a lot of hurt, a lot of pain. You know, somebody who might be a little bit cold, a little analytical, you know, somebody very smart, very intelligent. You could be this person as well that is very smart, very intelligent, and at times you may just overthink things to death until it causes issues. I'm going to go ahead and grab an extra card to go with this one. Yeah. Learning and understanding that you are emotionally fulfilled in and of yourself and you have everything you need within yourself to be emotionally fulfilled, to be stable on your own emotionally is something that you are learning and going through. And you are also maybe hoping and wishing for something beautiful and amazing to happen. It may be something that's a little too good to be true or it may be something that's a little selfish. You may need to re-examine your thoughts, re-examine your ideas and and you know oh. yeah because it may be causing a very heavy burden on you to be focused so fully and so one-mindedly like one track mind on this goal and it's time now to really release the burdens of the past and everything that has happened that has hurt you that has caused pain and has caused this burden on your back and on your shoulders and it's time to believe in the impossible it's time to believe in your dreams coming true it's time to really focus on what you can do and what you can't do going forward as well please and thank you so remembering your manners and remembering to you know maybe maybe adding a little warmth to your to yourself and the way that you react react to situations and the way you talk to people may help as well and and really being grateful for the people who have been there to help you throughout your life as well maybe even expressing the truth about how others have been there for you and maybe even you know that doesn't get rid of the bad things that have happened but maybe you've expressed a lot of those things already changes are coming something new approaches no regrets you did your best holding your ground so yes you may have very very much so held your ground and and expressed your opinion and you know stood strong in your position and knowing that you did all you could do is going to really help you in being able to let go and not have any regrets about the past it's time to move past the regrets. It's time to put down the burdens. And it's time to really realize that, you know, you may not be able to go back to the beginning and do anything different, but you can start from where you are right now today and make something completely new. And there is a lot of changes coming into your life right now. Create something new. When those voices in your head tell you lies, remember the truth you hold within. Rewire your thoughts. And once again, try not to overthink things. Try not to overanalyze things. Try to remember that... You are an amazing person, and you are amazing in and of yourself on your own. You don't need anything from the outside, but it is good to have things from the outside. It's good to have people around. It's good to have, you know, solidity and stability in your life. But when you don't, you are still okay. Don't allow your thoughts to overwhelm you and cause you to believe that everything is just falling apart. Realize we are all doing the best that we can with the tools we have, and this will help you to leave behind the pain caused and help to forgive yourself and others. Forgiveness brings peace. So yes, once again, it's time to let go of those burdens. It's time to forgive others for the way they behaved in the past. It's time to forgive yourself for the way that you behaved in the past. And it's time to realize that just because you were that way in the past or they were that way in the past doesn't mean you have to be in the future. It doesn't mean they're going to be in the future. That means that this is what happened so you can learn how to do things differently and how to understand yourself more and how to understand other people more. And there's a lot of times that all these chaotic things happen in our life so that we can really learn from them and so that we can understand ourselves more fully and understand other people more fully. And it's time now to let go of the burdens of the past of feeling like you didn't do good enough, feeling like you 
were a monster possibly even in this set, you know, feeling like you really caused a lot of problems and hurt and despair and or other people did. And it's time to forgive. It's time to forgive yourself, time to forgive others, and it's time to know that everybody was just doing the best they could. Nobody was intentionally trying to hurt each other, but sometimes that's what happens when you're in situations with people. So that's what I have for this pile, and I would absolutely love to hear your feedback in the comments below if this resonated with you or not, and it helps my channel as well. Liking, sharing, subscribing, all of that stuff helps me to be able to be here to continue doing this for you. And also, if you would like a personal reading to get more into depth, in depth on your personal situation on this, let me know and I will do that for you. Have a beautiful night, day, whatever it is, wherever you are when you're watching. Bye, guys. Pile two. So, for pile two, what do we have here? What cycles do we need to bring to a close? And what, how do we do that? So we have the dragon. So you are somebody who is very fertile, very abundant, very in the spotlight. You have a lot of power. You have a lot of say. You have a lot of ability to change whatever it is you need to change in your life. And you are somebody who really has a lot of true purpose and a lot of passion and a lot of ambition, and a lot of ability to be able to create whatever life you want to create. We have the Seven of Cups, and we have the Empress, we have the Magician, and we have the Ace of Wands. So, you have all kinds of options in front of you. All kinds of options in front of you. Of course, one of them is going to be so much better than the rest, but right now you may be walking through the dark exploring all these options, trying to understand your emotions better, trying to delve in and understand yourself better, and trying to see what is the best option for you. And you may not even be seeing all these options. You have so many amazing options in front of you. You have all this abundance, this fertility, this growth. You are somebody very beautiful, nurturing, caring, kind, understanding, somebody who has a lot of wisdom, strength, purity, somebody who is very knowledgeable, somebody who is very passionate and fiery, somebody who's very psychic, intuitive, loving, somebody who has the power, the tools, the capabilities of creating whatever life you want to bring into fruition. You are somebody who has the ability to manifest a brand new beginning, a brand new start, somebody who has a lot of new thoughts, new ideas, new understandings, new perspectives, and a lot of people are watching you in this, and you are somebody who really is going to create a lot of new things in your life and the lives of others and shift a lot of perspectives and understandings. You're somebody who really has the knowledge, tools, capability to be able to create the life that you desire, the true life that you desire, as long as you aren't getting caught up in illusions that you can't do it. A place for everything and everything in its place. And once again, there is a certain route for you that is for you. All it takes is finding it. Crying is good for you. So taking some time to cleanse, to release, to purify by expressing your deepest emotions and allowing yourself to just cry it out, cry out all the illusions, all the past hurts and pains, and just release them once, for, once and for all so you can see the path in front of you. Guard your heart, but not too much. So being able to, you know, be discerning in what you're allowing into your life and who you're allowing into your life, but also not having such a high wall up that it doesn't allow anything in. Look at your projections. Look at what you're projecting out onto the world. Are you projecting a good, beautiful, amazing, wonderful world, or are you projecting hurt, sadness, loss, pain, everything is bad, everything's wrong, nothing's going right. Because when you're doing that, you are creating a life where everything is bad and nothing is going right. When you could be creating a life that is filled with beauty and wonder. You could be creating a life that's filled with illusions and hurt and pain and darkness and I don't know where I'm going. Or you can be creating a life of I know exactly where I'm going, I know exactly what I want to create, and I know exactly where I belong. Let your desires heal, to heal guide you in overcoming the past. Accept what was, forgive yourself and others, knowing that this will remove the heavy burden of the shadow of, of blame and what it has caused in your life. 
So it is time to accept what was. It's time to forgive yourself. It's time to forgive others. And it's time to remove a heavy burden that has been cast over your life, a heavy burden of blame, whether it's blame for you or blame for other people. Instead of blaming, take your life and your power into your hands and create the life that you desire. This is a lot about learning from your emotions and understanding your emotions and diving into them and really understanding yourself at the core and what you are causing in your life. Never feel that you are a victim. You are a survivor. Don't let others define you. Define yourself. Stand up for yourself and for others. Stand up for what's right. So it's time to release any kind of victimhood mentality. And it is time to know that after everything that you have been through, you are still here. You are still standing. I'm still standing by Elton John. Don't let others define you. Define yourself. Know who you are. Don't let other people's opinions or beliefs or thoughts of what you should be or who you are define who you are. You are who you are. Stand up for yourself. Stand up for what's right. Stand up for what you believe in. Stand up for others. And don't allow yourself to be pushed down. Don't allow yourself to be made to feel like you don't belong here and you don't have something to accomplish because you have an amazing future to accomplish here. You have something beautiful and wonderful to bring into this world. And Spirit is telling you that you have the ability to create this. Whether you believe you do or not, you need to start believing you do. So that's what I have for this pile. And I would absolutely love to hear if this resonated with you in the comments below. Or if you have a suggestion for a future video, I'd love to hear that as well. And if you guys would like to go more in depth into your personal journey and what you're going through, I do offer personal readings. So hit me up and I would be happy to do that for you and I hope that you guys have a beautiful night, day, whatever it is, wherever you are when you're watching. Bye bye. Pile 3. So for pile 3, what cycles do we need to change and how do we change them? So we got the hummingbird. So, you know, you may be really somebody who flits around with positivity, joy, inspiration and you bring a lot of that to others. You're somebody very joyous, positive, happy-go-lucky, inspiring. You know, you may really enjoy singing and dancing as well, and if you haven't been doing a lot of that and you really enjoy it, make time for that. Make time for the things that you enjoy. Make time for the things that bring you happiness and positivity. Positivity. Make time for the things that raise your vibration. We have the Eight of Swords. We have the Three of Pentacles, we have Justice, and we have the Six of Cups. So, you know, if there was a third party situation, there may be a reconciliation because Justice is paying off. So, anyway, that's less of what I'm feeling, but that was something that I felt like I needed to say, so it might just be for like one or two people. So you may be feeling very, very stuck, very stuck, stuck, not being able to express yourself, stuck, not being able to get out, stuck, not being able to, you know, you may be stuck in your thoughts and your mind, and it may be really weighing you down. It may be keeping you from being your true self and from expressing all this positivity, joy, beauty that you have to express in the world. You have something to offer this world and you are stuck right now but you're stuck in a prison of your own mind. You're not stuck because you're really stuck. You're stuck because you're telling yourself you're stuck. And you have the ability to overcome anything, anything in your life. You have the ability to learn from every lesson you come across and you have the ability to bridge that gap. You have the ability to climb that mountain and you have the ability to descend the other side. You are learning from everything you are going through and you have learned so much from everything you have already went through and you have the ability to overcome any obstacle that comes in your way every obstacle is just a stepping stone in the right direction you know and you are learning growing understanding you're learning a lot of new things and you're overcoming a lot of things and you may even be working with others in some manner to bring about something and you might not be expressing yourself to the fullest of your ability and now is the time to step up into your leadership role and into your power and to really express yourself fully to let this cocoon crack away and to come out emerged as this beautiful butterfly and really transform yourself and your life 
And there's also a need here to integrate your shadow and your light. Integrate them together and to really be able to see things from a balanced perspective. To see what's right and what's wrong and to follow your own moral compass. To learn and understand what your own true moral compass is and what you really feel is right and what you and also being able to express it express it when you feel something is right or wrong and being able to express your opinion and your point of view regardless of what anyone else thinks of you there is no reason to worry about what anyone else thinks of you when you're expressing yourself because the people who really truly belong in your life are the people who will accept you exactly as you are and there's also a need here to maybe examine your past or your childhood and to really understand where you come from and what your roots are and what your true beliefs are. There's a need here to heal emotionally in a lot of ways so that you can be able to give and receive in an equal exchange of love and emotion. You know, you may either be giving all of your love away to people who don't deserve it, or you may be holding back a lot of your love from people who are giving you a lot of love. And there's a need here to balance that out and to understand that you deserve to have love and you deserve to give love. You deserve both. You deserve to have an equal exchange for what you're putting out there. And... You, and knowing that all of the love and all of the beauty that you've put out into the world will come back to you as well if you allow it but you have to allow it you can't get stuck on the idea that you're all alone and there's nobody around you and there's nobody who would really love you you have to be receptive and open to the idea that others will love you exactly as you are and for who you are Lots of twos are coming up on my screen right now, so <laughs> there's really a need for balance and harmony in your relationships, in your life, and inside yourself, and understanding that even if you do have the darker sides and darker aspects of yourself, you are still beautiful and pure, because everyone has both sides, everyone has both sides, and it is okay. Who is really standing in your way? Exactly. Who's standing in your way? It's you. It's not the outside world. It's you. You are keeping yourself trapped in a box. Play your cards and hope for the best. Put yourself out there. Express yourself and hope for the best. And don't expect things too highly because sometimes things don't play out to our expectations and that's what hurts us. <clears throat> hoping for the best, we are able to, in hoping for the best, we are able to, um, Sorry, 2255 was on the screen a second ago. And so I got kind of caught up in that. Changes are coming for the better. They're bringing balance into your life. And when you take a chance and take a gamble and take a risk, even if it doesn't work out to the best, you have no regrets because you put your foot out there. You put yourself out there. And in doing so, it gets easier and easier every time to be able to put yourself out there. And... Sometimes it's not going to work out to the best, but sometimes it is. Sometimes it's going to work out far better than you ever expected anyway. And you're going to lose out on that because you were expecting something else. Well, don't do that either. Costumes are confusing everyone. It's time to come out of your mask, and it's time to express who you truly are and who you really are. Hard times ahead. Keep the faith. So it's time to keep your faith throughout whatever obstacles you're facing and to know that everything is going to be okay in the end. We also have, don't become a silent, passive per participant. Take back control of your life. Don't let shame make you feel invisible. Your true power lies within, and it is your real beauty. So it is time to no longer allow shame of the past and the hurt and the whatever you have done in your past or whatever others have done in the past. And I think in this one, it's a lot of what you have done in the past is making you feel ashamed. And it's time to really understand and know that you have true beauty within you. Even if there's been some mistakes along the way, even if there's been some hurt caused along the way, don't allow that hurt that you may have caused others to consume you because you are a beautiful soul who's running around trying to cause love, light, beauty, positivity, hope, peace, inspiration. All these things are who you really are. Even if there have been some people that you have hurt along the way, that was not your intention. 
And it is okay to accept that not everything you have done is good, but that you are trying your best to do what's right and what's good. People who took your power blamed you, but you don't have to accept that distorted reality. People who abuse always blame the survivor to shift the focus. And there may have been a lot of abuse in your childhood as well. And it may have caused you to be a very invisible person because you didn't really feel like you were good enough or you didn't feel like you, anybody could love you knowing what you have gone through. And in what you have gone through is not who you are. Who you are is a beautiful, amazing person who has overcome all the challenge and obstacles and hurt and pain that has been thrown your way. And you have come out of it stronger than ever and wiser than ever. And if you feel drawn to Pile 2, go watch Pile 2 because Pile 2 has a lot to do with the same exact thing. Don't accept the distorted reality that you are in somehow flawed or not good enough or disgusting because somebody who hurt you in the past made you feel that you are those things. You are somebody amazing, wonderful, and beautiful, and you deserve to have a beautiful, loving, connected, emotional, giving, wonderful relationship in your life, whether that be friendships, whether that be family, whether that be partnerships, you deserve to have love. And don't ever feel like you don't deserve to have love. So that's what I have for this pile, and I really hope that you enjoyed this reading. I would absolutely love to hear your feedback in the comments below. Anything helps my channel as well. And comments, um, sharing, liking, subscribing, all of those things help me to be able to continue to be here to help you on your path. And also I am offering personal readings as well. So if you feel like you could use a more in-depth reading on your situation and the abuse that you've been through, I've been through mass quantities of abuse in my life as well. So I know how to work your way out of that and how to come out the other end stronger than you were, you know, and how to rise up like a phoenix from the ashes and come up out of that. So if you need that help, let me know and I would love to do a personal reading for you. And I hope that you guys have a beautiful night, day, whatever it is, wherever you are when you're watching. Bye-bye, guys.